He's won a lot of football games. The 49ers, when he has started, have been 22-7. and seven. When he has not started, they've been 4-21. and 21. That's the numbers under Kyle Shanahan. So he showed up in 2017 and immediately turned that football team around. It was really something amazing to watch. That was a long year for the 49ers in Kyle Shanahan's first season in 2017. And they were 1-10 and 10 when Jimmy Garoppolo got his first start. It was the first team in NFL history to finish 6-10 and 10 after starting 1-10. and 10. He went 5-0. and 0. He was throwing over 35 times a game. They didn't have the roster yet to run the ball as effectively as they would two years later. Now, in 2018, obviously, Jimmy Garoppolo tore his ACL. But when he came back in 2019... He was that missing piece. They started winning again after going 4-12 and without him the year prior, and they went all the way to the Super Bowl. So right now there's obviously some unrest in San Francisco after they lost the Super Bowl just because this franchise has almost insane standards for quarterbacks. I mean, they almost ran Steve Young out of town after he had won an MVP in the early 1990s. But that just goes to show you what the bar is for 49ers fans, maybe even for the 49ers media. But by, uh, by all accounts, Jimmy Garoppolo has come in. He's been efficient. He's won games. He has weaknesses. But at the end of the day, he's still a young quarterback. Just real quick, you expect him here in San Francisco next season. I know there's been some reports with the language in his contract. Real quick. Uh, 100%. I expect him in San Francisco next season. All right, Matt, we know Belichick has a soft spot for Garoppolo, but what do you expect the Patriots to do to make life miserable for the former New England quarterback? I don't think the formula for him changes much. Uh, he, he's he's sort of a, a pseudo-mobile guy, but that is good through the checkdowns. He's good through sort of his progressions. He can make a little, you know, make a little hay with his feet, but I think ultimately they know Jimmy really well, and there's not anything they're going to do that's necessarily going to confuse the guy. He has the occasional turnover game. Uh, we all know he's had a little bit of an injury issue this season, so maybe the mobility is not quite what it, you, you recall from the Foxborough days. But I think there's a healthy respect for him. It's not as if there's going to be some sort of wild Jimmy game plan that differs much more than you'll see for most guys week in, week out.